We're gonna be watching the Counter Strike 2 Innovations video that ESL made and hit play for it. Okay. Saving. The classic game time. We've heard a lot about that the past few years, so we're introducing long anticipated player bounties. If you stay alive in multiple rounds without winning, you'll have an additional bonus bounty on your head once you go down. Wait, it means that enemies will get more money when you die or... That's not gonna be good. That's not gonna work. I think it can be a good idea because, for example, a lot of Oopers, like, is saving a lot, you know? And I think it, should, it, it could change the meta a little bit. Honestly, when I was watching this, I honestly thought this was actually real. Yeah, same. When I saw Bounty, I'm like, man, this makes sense. I think this would be cool to, be ha to have. Kill the people that save all the time, you know? Yeah, like there'll be zero dollars on my head because I'm dead every round. Yeah, same. But James, mine is like fifty maybe. I think Robin is like four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> One small but important change we want to highlight are our upgrades to the Zeus. We're giving it a power surge to make players consider it a serious investment. Ah! Wait, what? Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good feature. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro. So basically, smokes are completely useless. You can nade them or you can zoos inside them. <laughs> 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 it's way too, way too ridiculous. With agent skins introduced, players found new ways to blend in with the environment. We're taking that one step further. Nanotech coding, available in the equipment section of the buy menu, will allow players to blend in with their environment after staying static for an extended period of time. I'll just quit. I'll just quit CS. Yes. When any of this happens, I'll just quit. This would be amazing to have, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, guess you're right. You will only play that this position. This, this can never happen. No, this is not good. So I would say this is really bad. They <laughs> cannot do this. This is some Teemo style. But it must cost like 10k. In this case, it makes sense, but in other way, not really cool, let's say. As we move forward to CS2, we're looking to redefine movement. With games growing lengthier over time, we're reducing both round time and rotation time. <laughs> this is amazing. I wish I had a car when I played, man. Entering with a car. <laughs> RPK would be insane, no? The tank incoming. Yeah. Rushing, pee, rushing pee in a car. <laughs> If we will have something like this in show match, it will be really cool, I will say. So, what's next for CS2? Well, as you can see, we don't know either. Look out for a few surprises. I mean, some of the changes are not too bad, if it was actually true. <laughs> like, I actually think, like, having different maps based on what season it is in the real world, yeah. that's actually pretty nice. I think they're all horrible ideas. Actually, uh, when I saw this video, I was really considering like quitting CS. The the only thing I would say that that maybe has some merit is the bounty system. Uh, but everything else, if any of that got implemented into the game, I think uh, a lot of people would quit. The editor of this video, if personally I get to know him, I would I would give him tons of money, and I would probably I'll get my sister to marry him or something. Like this is insanely good, man. <laughs>